it's Georgia here and if you are new then welcome to my channel. If you're not new then thank you so much for coming back. Today I filmed this look for you. I hope you enjoy it, I hope you learn something cool. Again it's not perfect but it's a hell of a lot better than the last video. Um, I'm slowly but surely improving on graphic liner. I mean Nobody's perfect at something the first time and if they are then fuck them very much, that's not fair. If you want to see a video as to how I completed this look right here, then please keep watching. Come on. I, uh, turn the softening effect back off again and look at my face. I wish this is what I looked like naturally. I damn my hair. I'm also wearing the same shirt I slept in. Bet you guys didn't know what I had to do there. So I felt kind of defeated after the last video I filmed. I'm not gonna lie. But I decided to fucking do it again. Except simpler, maybe. If at first you don't succeed, try until you start fucking up. Also, I missed a patch of my hair, right? Eh? Look at that. Let's not talk about it. I'm gonna be using my ColourPop All I See Is Magic palette once again because I like it. I like it a lot. And last video's look didn't go exactly to plan, so I wanna make a look that I like with this. And I'm gonna be going in with this shade, Teacup. Again, the names are on the back, but I don't know which way they go. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in with a teacup on a little fluffy brush and I'm gonna dust that very, very lightly into my crease. Skin on my eyelids still isn't very good, but it's not quite as bad as it was. Oh my goodness, that was awful. They're still super, super dry, but... I know I probably shouldn't be putting makeup on it, but I like makeup. And I'm just gonna slowly build up that colour in that portion of my eye. And I'm just placing this in a V shape on my lower eye. To kind of elongate the shape of my eye because if you've been here, you know that I have really tiny eyelids. Don't have very much space going on here. That's okay using my bigger fluffy brush and blending that out again. And in the very outer corners, I'm just gonna dip into the shade right here. It's either top notch or gouache. I don't know. And I'm doing the same thing with that, just placing that in a V shape at the corner of my eye. And next, I'm gonna place this shade right here and I'm just gonna use my finger and put it all over my lid. Oh, I have black on this finger. Good job, Georgia. Go to door. Okay, and now for the part that's probably going to make me want to commit, but it's okay. Sorry if anyone doesn't like, like really dark humor. I have quite a dark sense of humour, so I'm, I'm very sorry if any of the moments of me turning around being like, oh, I'm so ready to die and stuff, if any of that offends any of you, I'm very, very sorry. That is not my intention at all. I just, I have quite a dark sense of humour, and if it does bother you, then I can stop. I'm just going to be taking my six Ink Pot in the shade Dominatrix, my usual eyeliner and a Zoeva 315 liner brush and I'm going to attempt graphic liner again or am I? Should I maybe go over it first with eyeshadow? That seems like it could be wise. I'm just gonna go into my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette just because it's here and I'm gonna go into the shade Blackjack and I'm gonna very very lightly map out where I'm gonna put this eyeliner. Now I'm 
bringing this three quarters of the way into my lids. Try and make the line quite sharp on the top of it, but on the under bit it doesn't really matter too much because I'm going to go in with concealer. Okay, and to make it a bit neater, I'm going to cut the crease ever so slightly and I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Amazing, by the way. And I'm just tidying up underneath the liner. Okay, and I'm gonna set all of the concealer with the same kind of pale eyeshadow that we put on the lid before. Darken some of this with my Kat Von D tattoo liner. Okay, this is what we're left with. I'm not the best at this, I'm not gonna lie, but I'll, I'll get better with practice. I've decided that the lid isn't really intense enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is white but it reflects gold and it's honestly one of the most beautiful shadows I've ever used. One of my absolute favorites now. Go and finish the rest of my face and then I will be right back. Okay, face is done. Feeling glowy, feeling glowy. I forgot how much I fucking love doing eyebrows with eyeshadow. It's so much easier. And obviously they're like intense. But that's how I like my brows. So. Also, my bronzer is actually blended. It's just the way that the light's sitting on it makes me look really intense. But I promise in real life, it doesn't look like that. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna take a mixture of this shade right here and this shade right here. And I'm just gonna put this along the outer half of my lower lash line. Just quite gently, I'm not really wanting anything too intense for once. Normally, I love a good lower lash line smooth out. Also, I had a spot here, so I decided to make it kind of look like a mole. I mean, I've got two nice spots here as well, but I can't have found any moles. Maybe I can. I don't know. And next, I'm going to be going in with this gold shade right here. And I'm going to be putting that on the inner third of my eye of my lower lash line, if that makes sense. This shade is insane. And then for my inner corners, I'm gonna use the same shades that I used all over the lid, which is this beautiful white slash gold shade. I'm going to take a little bit of that same shade and I'm going to put it just under my eyebrow to highlight my brow bone. Right, next I'm going to take my NYX Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil, oh no, what? My NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk, which yes, it definitely, desperately needs sharpened, but I'm too lazy. I'm just going to put that on my lower lash line. I'm just gonna add some mascara to my lower lash line. I'm using my, what is this? My Rimmel Wonderfully Real Mascara. And for my lips, I'm going to be going in with ColourPop's Oh Snap Lip Liner and lining my lips with it and pretty much placing it all over my lips. On top of that, sadly this isn't available anymore, at least as far as I'm aware, but this is the MAC and Mariah Carey lip gloss in Dream Lover. This is the finished look. I'm gonna go change my clothes and I'll be back. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, that was super, super nice. 
I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and maybe even click the little bell thingy that like lets you know when I post because like I said before I don't post that often so it'd be a nice little surprise for when I do. Thank you so much for watching, I really really hope that you enjoyed and if you did that you stick around for videos yet to come. Okay, bye guys. My entire boob was out. Whoa. You fuck. It's a kind of a uh, uh, Thank you so much. <laughs>